Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a logical DI set. It says that there are four friends PQRS. They are playing a game called Raja Wazir Chor Sipai 2.0. They are holding four different slips containing these numbers 100, 500, 800, and 1000, not necessarily in that order. And there are four slips with the same numbers. They are kept in a box in four consecutive rounds. So we have round one, two, three, four. Each child is asked to pick one slip in four rounds and every child intends to pick a slip that has the same or a greater number okay than the number on a slip so for example let's say p has a slip number of 500 okay so p will pick either 8 500 or 800 or 1000 will not pick 100 okay suppose a person has 800 the person will pick 800 or will pick 1000. So the intention is to pick the same or the greater number. Okay. This table gives the order in which they pick the slips on each of the rounds. So uh, like first round P picks first, then second is Q, then R, then S, Q, R, S, P. So this is the order for each of the four rounds. Now, if a child cannot find a slip which he intends to pick, that is represented by n in the second table. So, this table gives that whether a child is able to pick uh, the slip of his desire or not. If he does not find it, he randomly picks any slip. However, if the child finds a slip that he intends to pick, that is mentioned as y, he always picks any of those slips only. So, let us say the person has 500 and uh, has the liberty to choose can pick any of these right can pick 500 800 or 1000 any of these okay now using this table we need to find out who has which number and picks which slip in which round okay so let's think of some basic logic first logic if you see is that first let us make the order thing so first round p will pick first and then we see q r s Second round Q picks first, then Q, R, S, P. Third round R picks first, R, S, P, Q. And fourth round it is S who picks first and then we have P, Q, R. Right. So this is the order. Now logically very simple thing. If the person is the first person to pick, they will definitely get a slip of their choice because all slips are present. So even if you have the lowest number or the highest number, you can easily pick the slip of your choice okay now in third round all have y y y y that means all get the choice so that means all of them pick the same number on their slip okay because if you pick a greater number see you have two choices either you pick the same number or you pick the greater number if you pick a greater number what will happen someone else will not be able to pick that their desired number okay so you you pick the same number on your slip so that all of them get the get that number because if you pick a greater number someone else may not be able to pick their number so this is done then if you look look at r r has yes in all rounds okay r has yes in all rounds so this means irrespective of the order third person second person first person fourth person to pick still getting yes in all rounds so that means r must have the least number okay logically bata sakte ho ki least number hai r ki slip mein 100 hai how 100 because no matter whichever slip is there r will say yes because it is same or greater than okay others cannot have this so r is 100 now we talked about the logic that if a person is picking the first slip they will always say yes because they have everything available okay now First person has four choices, can pick anything. Second person got three choices. Okay. So, very likely that second person should also be able to get the desired slip. See, yes and no. In this case, it is yes and yes. It is yes and yes. Yes and yes. Okay. If the second person is not getting his desired slip, okay. First, ke to sare option hai. if the second person is not getting his desired slip, that means the first person picked greater than the second person. Okay, second person's number. Now, if you look at this, so in this case, Q is not getting a chance. Okay, so 
definitely p has fixed something which is greater than or equal to the second persons now by that logic if p picked 1000 here q has no choice left okay because this means that q has the number 1000 why because if q had a low, lower number let us say q had 800 okay so even if p picks anything like even if p picks 1000 q will pick 800 okay if p picks 500 q will pick 800 or 1000 if p picks 100 q will pick 800 if there is lower number p will q will definitely say yes because they can pick that number so this logic says tells us that q has 1000 and q could not pick in this round because p picked that number so i'm putting 10 10 represents 1000 i'm not putting the two zeros of the numbers so p picked 1000 and as a result q was not able to pick the number of his choice okay now in this round we said that all will pick the same number as they have so this is the case now in this round q will pick 1000 because q gets yes now let's see this second round it is interesting see r will pick uh, r will get a number of his choice in every round okay so q has got his round uh, r has got his uh, like choice why are we taking this second round because we now already know the the outcomes of these two people the, the slips of q and r so we know that which slips they can pick so q has picked 1000 now r can pick 100 500 or 800 okay suppose r picks 100 so what will happen either n uh, like P or S will get their choice. Why? Deekho, agar lo, is, suppose ye le le te, 500 or 800 mein se kuch hai, right? Suppose Y has 100 pick kiya, hai? So if 500 hoga, 800 pick lega, 800 hoga, to bhi, like 500 hoga, 500 can be picked or 800 can be picked. So it is not possible for Y to pick 100. Okay. Now suppose Y is like Y picked 500. Like sorry, R picked 500. Now 500 if they picked, now even if this number is 500 or 800, suppose he picked 500, so he will pick like 800 and will say yes, because you can pick the same or higher number. So n cannot pick 800 also, because if it picks 500, let's say y picked five, this uh, r picked 500, so s will pick 800 and will say yes for either of the numbers. So this means cannot pick 500 also. So this means the person picked 800 in this round. Okay. Now the numbers left are 500 and 800. Okay. Now if we see this thing that it is uh, 800 has been picked. So the numbers left are 500 and 100. Now if this person had the slip containing 500, he would have said yes here because he would have picked 500 and said yes. So this logic means that the number does not have 500. This person has 800 and has no choice left here. Okay. And eventually this number is 500. Okay. And should have no choice left. Now, if this person picks 100 and this person picks 500, this person will say yes. So this means the fourth person picked 500 and this person picked 100 here. And as a result, they could not get the desired slip. Now, in third round, we said that they will pick the same number on the slip. So, this will pick 800, this person will pick 500, and this person will pick 1000. Okay. Now, if you look at the uh, the last uh, and the first rounds, okay. Now, Q does not get the number of his choice. So, Q can pick anything like 500 also, 800 also, 100 also. Now, R can get anything of his choice. Okay. Anything because R is 100. So, R can pick anything. S can be like anything less than 800 can be 500 or 100 so we cannot determine the order there are multiple possibilities let's look at this case <coughs> this person has picked yes so we'll pick 800 or 1000 okay if this person picks 800 then this person should not get 1000 so this person will pick 1000 <coughs> If this person has picked 1000, that the person can pick 500 or 800. Multiple possibilities. <coughs> so, for this round also, we cannot determine the slips that they picked. Now, let us answer the questions.
the first question is what is the number on the slip held by s we can answer this question s has 800 what number did r pick in round 2 r in <coughs> round 2 is 800 for how many rounds can we uniquely determine the slips picked by each of the four persons? So we can find for round, three, round two and round three. Two such rounds. If S picked a slip with the number 800 in round four, S picked 800, what number must P have picked? So 8 picks 800, <coughs> S picks 800. We know Q should not be able to pick 1000. So that means P will pick 1000 because if P does not pick 1000, P picks 500, then Q will be picking 1000. So that means P will definitely pick 1000. Who picked the slip containing the number 500 in round 1? In round 1, we cannot determine because this person can also pick 500 and this can also have 500. <clears throat> because anyway, Q is 1000, so Q cannot get a number of his desire, can pick anything. If let's say picks 100, he can pick 500. Like if he picks 800, he can pick 500. He can have 800, 100, 500. Right? We can have <coughs> 500. So there are several possibilities. So we cannot find who picked the number 500 in round 1. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you love this set.